Hi friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to another Christmas Decorate with me. My name is Krista and today I'll be decorating my hutch and a few other places for Christmas. I am a collector of Ray Dunn and I really want my hutch to be fun and festive for the season. So I hope you'll enjoy and possibly get some inspiration. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want some more behind the scenes looks or just some more day in the life things, check out my Instagram page as well. Okay guys, here is my hutch just in my kitchen area. And if you have missed my other hutch decorating videos for fall, um, I believe that's the only other time I've decorated it on here. Um, but it is missing the glass in the very top section. So I'm gonna try to be creative and fix something for that because we haven't even looked into getting that replaced. I honestly don't even know if I want glass. I might just want just a regular shelf so that it's more sturdy because I do put heavy things in here. Um, but if you have been watching my channel, you've probably noticed the last video. I said that that was probably my last decorate with me video and I was planning for that one to be my last one. So um, this one was actually supposed to go up last week. However, things happened and uh, the Christmas season kind of got a little busy there. So this one is my last decorate with me. And so I hope you all are enjoying it. I am really enjoying this season. I know I've said in another video how I just want to be more present with this season and I have truly been intentional with that and I'm really enjoying it and just watching my kids and seeing their faces light up with all of the activities we do and of course the presents that they open. So here I'm just showing you a few little things that I have already um, to decorate this hutch with. I don't know what it's gonna turn out like. Um, it's been a long time since I've decorated this hutch for Christmas because we were building over the last couple of years. So I'm really excited to decorate. I do have a couple new Ray Dunn items that are for Christmas. And then I do have some, um, just some different uh, little beads and things to decorate with. But most of this I already, I've already had. Um, so I hope you all enjoy this video and let me know in the comments if you do. Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing this Okay, so literally the day of Thanksgiving after we had had our dinner and all of that, I was taking everything down along with my mom. Um, we just went through my house and we were just stripping everything down. So you don't have, you don't see any of the fall decorations in here. You just see some of the things that I actually keep year round in my kitchen. Um, everything else went into storage. So now I'm just cleaning these shelves up from where they were a little bit dusty. And then I'm going to start decorating. Now, like I said, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I have decorated for Christmas um, with my Ray Dunn stuff before and I have loved it. Um, but I do also have a collection of snow globes. Um, unfortunately, some of them have either messed up, meaning like they're discolored now from being in storage for years, um, or they one did break, one of my favorite ones did break. Um, but my parents, and of course now my mom, she usually gets me a new snow globe every Christmas, and it is one of my favorite gifts to open and to display in my house. So I'm gonna start out by decorating with the Ray Dunn and the snow globes and just see how it looks. Um, if not, then I will change it up. Um, I kind of want a specific place in my house just for my snow globes, but I'm not exactly sure where that will be. So I'm just gonna start by placing just the few Ray Dunn items that I have, like the big ones. And then I also have 
this gingerbread house, which is not right done. It was from Hobby Lobby years ago. So I'm just putting that all in there. And if you haven't watched my channel, um, my kitchen is decorated in the gingerbread theme. So it really does play off of that since my hutch is in my kitchen. So here are the snow globes that I have and this one I believe was from Bath and Body Works. I wrote the year I got them on the bottom and I think that one uh, with the snowman that spins around was from 2007. So I believe that's when I started my collection which you won't see all of them here. Like I said some of them got ruined in storage and I'm just heartbroken over it. But thankfully um, I know that this tradition will continue. I already know I am getting one for Christmas this year, um, and I have seen it because my mom wanted to ask which one I liked better. Um, so I'm very excited to share that with you all uh, after Christmas Day. Okay, so now I am just adding in some little knickknacks, like little trees and ornaments in here just to fill in the spaces that they can fill in since they're much smaller than the Ray Dunn and the Snow Globes. Okay, and as I'm finishing this decorating part, I'm realizing that I should have just stuck with my gut and left my snow globes out of it and put them in a specific spot because that it just looked like too much was going on and I don't like that in my house. I like for it to be very themed and even though this was very a fun and festive thing that I wanted to go with, I just felt like it was too much to look at and I just don't like that look. If there's just too much going on, I just feel... <laughs> Uh, overwhelmed and anxiety and I don't like that so I have pulled all of my snow globes out and I'm putting them somewhere different I'm not even sure where yet but I want a specific place just for them so I pulled all of those out and I did have more Ray done that you didn't see before that was for Christmas so now I'm just making this a Ray done um, hutch for Christmas and I think it's gonna turn out a lot better on my way So I am much happier with this setup. It looks like the North Pole to me, but I love it and that's how I'm gonna keep it. It just looks so clean and you can see each item in there and nothing's being distracted. So these are some ornaments I found off of, um, they're on Amazon, got them for very cheap and I really wanted to get creative with the top part of the hutch that where I don't have anything. So I thought, well, I'll just hang up these beautiful little snowflake ornaments and make it look like it's snowing on top. And I really do love how that turned out. So now I'm on the top of the hutch and um, my husband already hang, hung up the Mary and Bright sign. I believe I got that from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. However, I completely forgot to tell the people up front um, that it does have just a little bit of a corner knocked off of it. Um, and I was hoping to get a discount, but it really wasn't that expensive anyways. It was like $16. So I thought it would be beautiful. And then I got this beautiful uh, garland here. It's just red berries. And I thought it would be absolutely beautiful. Have a pop of red on top of the hutch. And I got it from Amazon. So anything that I can link below, I will. However, Ray Dunn is very hard to link below because there's not a specific Ray Dunn, you know, place where I have found these. Usually it's on the Mercari app um, or I just randomly find them at TJ Maxx and Home Goods, And of course those don't stay online for very long. Also the things that I get from Hobby Lobby are very hard to link below, but what I can link, I will.
Okay, so right next to my hutch is my pantry door and I bought this from Marshalls, very, very cheap. It's a little advent calendar with gingerbread man that switches into all the different um, numbers of the days. And I wanted to add something to kind of hide the command strip up there. So I just decided to tie a little red and white striped ribbon on top. I really didn't think I was going to like it, but I love it. Yes, that much is clear. Okay, so these are some wreaths I already had. I believe I put them outside um, on our old house. I found these little bells that were already decorated and already had the jute twine on them from Dollar General and they were like $4 each. So I thought, well, I'll just add them to give something a little different to these uh, wreaths and I'm gonna hang them on my half bathroom door and my laundry room door. So these are just some picks I've had for a very long time and I'm just putting them in these galvanized baskets. I think it's all from Hobby Lobby and like I said I've had it for a very long time. Okay, I know that I didn't really need anything else up here. I think it looked just fine, but I did have some extra red picks and I thought about putting them in here just to see how it turned out. I'm not that happy with it, so next year I may add some more greenery up here or I may just leave it plain because it is very pretty. Go And now I am just changing out some of my Ray Dunn mugs here on my mug holder that I, a lot of you 
love to know where I got that. I did get it from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. So I am just, I didn't use those Christmas mugs in my hutch like I thought I would. So I'm going to add them here, which will be able to use more conveniently since they're right here beside my coffee pot. Okay, so here is the final look at everything. I am so happy with how everything turned out this year, not just in this video, but in my entire house. This was our first Christmas in this house, and I really wasn't sure how everything was gonna look and how I was gonna pull it all together, but I think it, I did. It's farmhouse, but very elegant and definitely Christmassy with all the reds and the greens. So if you missed any of those videos, definitely check them out. Also, if you want to see more of the day-to-day -day things that I post, um, definitely check out my Instagram as well. Um, I post a lot of polls, which brings me to the question. I'm thinking about videos for this upcoming new year, and I'm making this channel for you all. So what do you want to see? I know I started my channel out as a cleaning and organizing um, motivational type channel but you all really like my home decor uh, as as far as like the stats go um, I noticed that that's where I get most of my views most of my watch time and so if that's what you all want to see let me know comment below um, what do you all want to see do you want to see just home decor I can do that um, if you want to see home decor with some organizing let me know or if you do like the cleaning please please let me know i really want to cater um, this channel to you all and thank you all so much for your support on this channel i am so happy that you are enjoying it as much as i'm enjoying it i hope you all have a very merry christmas